going in after them. I said everybody out of there. That structure's going soft. There's a throw up on the southeast corner of the building. Get a truck company down there now. All right. Hey, Jack, what do you think of Never felt so bad. It's like losing a brother. He was even closer. Your cellar gets flooded, who bailed you out? Eddie Doyle. Got a new room on a house for the kid and who helps you build it? Eddie Doyle. The thing that's really killing me is he didn't have to die. I mean, they set that fire. Why? Why would they do a thing like that? Why do you think they set fires? They're black. Yeah, but why torture your own houses? They don't own them. They don't own anything. That's why they hate us. Because we're solid. We got something they don't. That's why. Steady. Eddie, drink up. Give me a beer. See the day you'd be shining shoes. Well, I'm a West Indian, baby. I don't have the same hang-ups as you stateside niggas. Hey, why don't you get that lovely body of yours off the bed and into the bathtub? This is an important day. I haven't been getting much sleep, Michelle. Been doing a lot of thinking. Thinking about what? About this job. What's to think about? I don't want it. You're kidding. No, no, I'm not kidding. Been thinking about it all week long. Decided I'm not going in. Your first day and you're not going in? I was hoping you'd understand. Understand? I mean, I know we've had our ups and downs. And I know we've been through hell together. But not going in, no, baby, I don't understand that. No, look, you see... No, listen to me. You half killed yourself getting through all those exams and you know you had to work harder than anybody else because you started four blocks behind them. And now you're telling me that you're not going in. Well, that's beautiful. Michelle, all I'm trying to tell you is to stop kidding yourself. It won't work. That's, that's a hunking club down there. Then why did they accept your application? Tokenism. They don't want me. 
way I'll ever fit in that scene is I become one of them. So don't go out here buying no new furniture and look at no duplex apartments. Old career thing I am before it gets started. And what's wrong with wanting to get out of this hole, Shelley? I mean, my God, you got yourself fired from every job you've ever had since we've been married. Job? What are you talking about? Janet, dishwasher, porter, baby? That's no job. That's bull. But this isn't bull, Shelley. Listen, once you're in that firehouse, they can't get you out. That's civil service. Now, look. They don't hold open that door too often. But when they do, you've got to zip right in there. Now, come on. Go in there and, and take a bath. And get down to the firehouse. But first, give your wife a big kiss. Shelly, listen to me. Every day when that phone rings, I die a little. Because it's my mother calling to see if I've had enough of you yet. And I tell her, Shelly, I tell her I will never have enough of you because I love you. But she keeps that pressure on Shelly because she thinks you're no good. Now, I keep telling myself that she's wrong about you and that you can get it together. But I'm telling you something, Shelly. If you don't get off this bed this minute and into that bathtub and then get down to that firehouse and start making a life for the two of us, I'm leaving you, Shelly. That's what I want to know, Gene. Yeah. Are you sure? Well, that's just what I thought. No, no, don't worry. Nobody's going to quote you to the brass. I give you my word. Right. My best to catch. What I tell you? That fire was torched. I just got off the phone with this friend of mine from the arson unit. They get a debris breakdown? They sure did, and it showed gasoline. You called that, Spike? Well, let's wait till the report comes in. Are you kidding? Hello. It all locks in, the V-pattern of the fire, the chemical analysis. Heard they even found gasoline cans a block from the fire. All right, Spike, leave it alone for a while. Nobody saw who did it. No, but you can make book at somebody black. Must be the new man. Forsyth? That's right. I'm Captain Park. Come on up, I'll sign you in. Welcome aboard. You believe what they sent us. Come on in. I, uh, have a set speech for all the new men, Forsyth. But we can forget about that. Sit down. Cigarette. No, thanks. Uh, look. And you're on probation here, which means you're not a fireman, yes. And you'll be taking a lot of needling and a lot of scut work for the first few weeks. We all did when we were probies, and we expect everyone else to take it in stride. Um, there's just one thing I ask of you. That is not to take any of this personally. As far as I'm concerned, your only job here is to become a good fireman. Clear? Clear. 
There'll be no fighting in the house unless you want to go up on charges, which could mean dismissal. Oh, and one other thing. I run a dry house. No drinking, no dope. Well, I haven't shot up in at least two weeks. <laughs> I am. I'm AA myself. This bottle's been here for eight years. Can I ask you one question? Shoot. Am I the only black in the house? Well, you're aware of the fact that uh, one of the deputy fire commissioners in this city is a Negro. Is that right? Sure. Deputy March, I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I just, just didn't notice him downstairs. We'll get all the paperwork done and see about getting you a locker. gentlemen have any suggestion for the midday cuisine? Anything. I got one. Send out for Chinese. Hey, how about some veal and pepper heroes? No, no, no. Sausage and peppers? Pepper and eggs? No more peppers! Puts peppers on everything this week. I'm turning into a lousy pepper. All right. Meatballs. Without peppers, huh? Well, that's that. That's what? The breakthrough. I was beginning to think that this place really had a charm on it. It's the coming thing, Spike. There's one in every firehouse. It's a political deal. There's no such thing as one. Now, you mark my words, Maya. They'll be coming out the woodwork any day now. Ah, oh, come on, Spike. He's only a probie. And anyway, I could use somebody in the kitchen. Now, probies don't cook, Caputo. They sweep the floor, you hear? What are they doing up there? It's the welcoming speech, remember? I never heard it. I got here first. Maybe I don't have Jim Parr's civil service rating, but I was here first. I'd tail to see more flame than any two captains. We're not arguing about that, Spike. As far as we're concerned, you're still our man. Hey, hey, I second the motion. Right. What do you know, Wop? Boys, this is the new man, Shelby Forsythe. Shelby. Right. This is Hank Myers, our engineer. Spike Ryerson, our senior man. And this is the darling of the firehouse, Sonny Caputo. Hey. He feeds us. Dalzell's around here someplace. Billy! Oh, yes, Captain? Let's have a locker key for Forsyth. Uh, but the only one that's free is Eddie's. Well, that's that. Okay. You Eddie's locker at you? What's wrong? Well, you can't do that. Why, can I? Well, it's not cleaned up. Why isn't it? Nobody wants to touch it. Spike, come on. Eddie's gone. Let's clean house. Give the new man a locker. Hey, listen, I know he was a friend of yours, and uh, I'm sorry, man. What do you got to be sorry about? You didn't do it, did you? Look, since I didn't know him, why don't I give you a hand, huh? Keep your hands off his things. I don't care what anybody says. This is Eddie Doyle's locker. Now, you're just renting it till you're out of here. That's gonna be for a long time, so don't you hold your breath. Second 
Talk to those kids over there? No, but I think you should. Any of you guys see who might have set off that alarm over there? You know, every time we answer a false alarm, it costs the city $500. Every time. Where are you going? Talk to him. I just did. Yeah, but let me give it a try, okay? What do you got to lose? Tell him, brothers. Don't call us, brother. Your brother, he over there. Look, man, you know your old lady could be dying in one of these fires and we couldn't get to her because we'd have come down here and play this game with you. So what you wasting your time down here for, Whitey? Later. Don't call us. We'll call you. Sure took care of that, didn't I? Well, anyway, it wasn't a complete loss. At least Spike got his kicks. Are you crazy about him, too, huh? It's tough not to be. He's some kind of a fireman, you know. Terrific. Set the fires, they're the real psychos. Yeah, you just ask any shrink. Hey, fellas, we had visitors. Well, they took it. The television? The television. Again? Again. We just finished paying for it. Oh, wow, they probably stole us blind. The job was fantastic, man. When did they bring in the whips? Well, if I ever get my hands on them. Eddie's camera. Well, do you believe it? They don't even have respect for the dead. How are they supposed to know he's dead, man? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty dumb remark, wasn't it? Well, maybe my brains are still scrambling when it comes to Eddie. You see, he was only my best friend. Now, how many times do I have to apologize for that, huh? Well, back to the old razor blade. They got my old electric shaver. What difference does it make with that peach fuzz of yours? Animals busting in here like this. And we just got through paying for the TV set. Animals, that's what they are. They're worse than that. Son is right. They're lower than animals. Yeah, you're right, man. Anybody who'd break in a place like this and rip it off, that's chicken. Only who's lower than animals, man? I mean, who are they? Well, man... I mean, like, uh... They're the funny little guys who set off the false alarm and then come and burglarize the firehouse. The same people who like to throw bricks at firemen. You'll see that happen one day. Maybe they'll roast your butt. They're the same people who like to pour gasoline and see the buildings burn. And don't give a damn when a crossbeam and two tons of cement come 
crashing down on the guy's head who's trying to save their home. That's who they are. I thought you were talking about niggers. Well, you said it, I didn't. I want you guys to remember that. Just remember it when he takes me to the Human Rights Commission. What's going on here? Forsyth. I thought I told you not to take anything personally. So you did, Captain. Just clean forgot. conduct in this 38 state. <laughs> but I love it. Mm. Love it too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah? I didn't know if you'd be eating over there or not. Well, if you call red peppers eating, I guess I ate. And it really went well today, huh? Like I said, baby. Fantastic. I know you did. And in fact, I've never seen you so high after a day's work before. Guess we lucked in this time. Yeah, or maybe you stopped off for a drink somewhere. Hope to die. I just feel real good, baby. <laughs> That's good. And you did go in. I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'll bring you my time card. How's that? Shelly, that won't be necessary. <laughs> I just can't get over it. You're liking the place. Like I told you, it went fantastic. And the people? What people? The people you work with. Are they friendly? Are they open? Distant what? Oh, those people. Oh, those people. Well, I'll tell you, they're all fantastic from the captain on down to the newest recruit. Fantastic. And, uh, how many of them are black? <laughs> well, actually, it's a very interesting situation. Meaning you're the only one. The only fly in all that buttermilk. And you've been putting me on, and all this time I've been buying it? Like I told you, baby, it went fantastically, so don't you start bugging me. Oh, great. Do you know how many questions that fills me with? Really? Yes, really. If I got just one question for you. What? What the hell is that suitcase doing in that closet? The one that's usually in the basement? I was down here getting some things out of it for for tomorrow, and I just couldn't work up enough energy to put it back. Is that right? Would you like me to put it back for you? No, no, just, just leave it there because I don't know where I want to put it yet. Seven, thirty-seven. I got, and twenty-five, sixty-two. Makes it three in a row for Spike and a blitz on the third game. Terrific. <laughs> get yourself another pitcher. Hey, Ernie, get me a soda, will you? Like a good guy. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, anybody else? 
No, thank you. You know, I wish I had a personal slate. Hey, Caputo, what do you want from me? The guy is a fire buff, and I just happen to be the best fireman in the city, right? It was love at first sight. Hey, do you know he's got a 1936 Ford Pumper in his backyard? What? You gotta be kidding. No, that's the truth. Well, he's harmless. <laughs> hey, listen, in case I forgot to mention it to you guys, uh, I've been thinking about uh, transferring. You gotta be kidding. What do you want to do a crazy thing like that for? Why not? You clowns are starting to bore me. Oh, yeah. Ernie, did you hear that? Spike here, he's gonna leave the firehouse. What? I don't believe it. It wouldn't be the same. I mean, whenever I mention Engine 23 to anybody in the department, they say, oh, that's where Ryerson is. Do they not? Well, you know it's true. Besides, this was your father's company. Why would you want to leave it? That's true, Ernie, but uh, this place just ain't the same anymore. I mean, it's hard to put a label on it, but it even smells different. Yeah, I've noticed that every time you open your mouth. Hey, come on, Spike, what do you want to transfer for? You're the senior man in this house. It doesn't make sense. He's just a probie, Spike. You're going to transfer because of some probie? Come on. Yeah, that's kind of unreal at that. I mean, when you really think about it, if anybody should have to get out, it should be him, shouldn't it? All right, come on, you guys, dig in. There's applesauce for dessert. Hey, Forsyth, come on. Proby's got to eat, too. Well, how's the corned beef and cabbage? Well, can't you smell it? You stuck up the whole house. Hey, I made it for you, Mick. <laughs> What's so funny? Corned beef and cabbage for the Mick, meatballs for the Dago. You think that's funny, huh? Well, if we're gonna have classics by request, I demand equal time. Tomorrow, I want ham hocks and greens and black eyed peas. I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with that particular cuisine. The foresight will prepare. A little soul might add a new dimension around here. It would, Jim, but probies never cook. I mean, they shop for groceries, they uh, wash vegetables, and they do dishes, but they don't cook. Well, considering the fact that our new man has the talent, I think we can make an exception. started. There's enough gasoline in that cellar to blow up the whole block. Anybody see who started it? No. Shall I send in a special car for the phone unit? It's already been done. Gasoline. They're at it again. For the gasoline job. I heard it. Do you understand what she's saying? So she passed the kid in the hallway, smell like gasoline.
I'll take this building. Take that one. I didn't do it! Why do you smell like a gasoline station, huh? Hey, man, I'm not the one you bought. He paid me. Who? Man, I can't tell you that. He killed me. Come on, let's go. Hey, man, he gave me $25. Here, take it, take it, man. Come on, let's go. Hey, man, you know the monkeys, they hate us. Come on, don't let them turn me in. Forsyth! Are you black, brother? Or are you white? Said he wasn't there. I told you I didn't see him. Hey, you know what I was thinking on the way back to the house? What? If maybe we'd get lucky and get ripped off again. We're so lucky about that. And I thought maybe they'd steal your meatballs. <laughs> when you're hungry the next time. <laughs> yeah, it was a very funny thing that happened today when we was chasing the firebug guys. What's that? Well, me and the probie, we went flying down this alley looking for the kid. Each of us went into our own separate garages. When I came out of my garage, I asked the probie if he'd seen the kid. The probie says no. So, we go back to the pumper. As we were walking back to the pumper, this kid comes flying out of the Proby's garage and takes off down the street. Now, that's pretty strange, isn't it? Huh? Not so strange. They're all like that. Black first, fire and second. Ernie said you want to see me, Myers. Yeah, take it, Sonny. <sighs> yeah, you gotta relax sometimes, Forsyth. I thought maybe you'd like to join us. You work out? They used to do it in the Army. You're welcome to use them. After you finish, right? Hey, I'm finished right now. Come on. Don't wait much. You can handle it easy. Uh, no trouble at all. It's been a long time. All right. All right. I'll give you a hand. Get away. Now we want to know if that's true. Not true. Are you sure? Sure. Are you 100% sure? Say it. Say you're 100% sure. I'm 100% sure. You know, we put our life on a line out there every day. You understand? You understand that? Yeah. One thing we don't put up with is a fireman who isn't 100%. So if you're thinking of not being 100%, you better pack your gear and get out. Now swear you didn't let him go. Swear it! I swear, I swear, I swear to God. Let him up, Sonny. That's enough. Let him up. Okay. But from now on, we're going to be watching. You understand? He 
puts up a terrific fight, doesn't he? I didn't hear the alarm go off. Didn't go off yet. Then go back to sleep. It isn't even 5.30. Look, I'm sorry if I woke you. Next time, I'll try to blow silent smoke rings. Well, now, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing means anything anymore, especially in this room. Well, now, that doesn't require any explaining, does it? Doesn't, huh? Oh, no. That's a straight-out, upfront complaint. Sweetheart, come on. Well, you know what they say about us jigs. We're all sex maniacs. Shelley. Do you think my life's been one long orgy lately? Well, maybe not. The reason nothing's happening in here lately is because this damn suitcase is beginning to strangle me. And I mean all over. Shelly, I never meant to do that. How could I? I love you, Shelly. You are all I love. And the only reason why I've been bugging you about this job is because I thought it would bring us a happier life. Michelle, listen. I am hanging in there. I don't care what those hunkies do to try to make me quit. I'm hanging in there. And I can deal with all of that as long as I know you're with me. You dig? I dig. So if you don't mind, I'm putting that suitcase back where it belongs. Later. Put it away later, Shelley. Special detail for you. Come on with me. Now. See this here? Yeah. Well, there's a piece of hose missing. Number R217. So? So find it. That's your special detail. And where might it be? Somewhere in there. In there. In there. Or... In there. Well, come on, move it. in here in that last bed. 
if it's in here. How come I got this job? I'll tell you the truth, it's a rotten job. But all the probies get the rotten jobs. Hey, man, when who I was a Who gave you this job? What difference does it make who gave me the job? It has to be done. We have to count for every piece of equipment around here, and a piece of hose is missing. Did Ryerson give you this job to give to me? And don't tell me he saved your life, too. Are you asking me if he's a friend of mine? No. I just want to know who I am dealing with around here. No, 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 no. You're asking me if he's a friend of mine. Well, I'll tell you. Last year, when I was on vacation up in Cape Cod, my right lung collapsed. Guess who flew all the way up there to drive me home? Spike Ryerson. And who brought in his own TV set when I got ripped off the other day? Ryerson. That's who you're dealing with around here. Fantastic. And when does he walk on water? Well, this horse has to be put back in the bed. Forsyth, I got a special project. The captain wants you to hit the third floor. Yeah? Got to get her ready for inspection. Fantastic. When was the last inspection, man? Doing the Harding administration? All I know is what they tell me to do. And what did they tell you to tell me to do? I gotta go gas up the pumper. I'll come back and give you a hand if I get the chance. Just spruce it up, can you? Sure, sure, man. But you tell them who's ever running this operation. That don't yeah. lot worse. <laughs> Sewers to outhouses. Me react. It's like being on a vacation. Fun of the sun, you dig? So you go tell a man that. Where do you come from? You go to school around here? Yeah. School of Mother Wit. No kidding. I went to Mother Cabrini myself. Is that right? Hey, let me tell you something about a firehouse. It takes a little time to get used to the new guys. They gotta get used to you. It's like, uh... An association, you know what I mean? When the guys give you the okay, they'll do anything in the world for you. And when you're finally in, you're gonna find you don't need anything. It's just like a family. Family? Yeah. Man, I got a wife. I don't need anybody else. Hey, did somebody say that you're a cook? Huh? I hope so, because uh, Caputo's uh, cuisine, it's... Uh, it's a disgrace. It's okay. I tell him that to his face. But can you cook? I mean, uh, really good? Hey, a cook in a firehouse is a very important man. Man, that's all behind me now. I don't remember how. If I were you, I would try to remember. Myers, you're beginning to sound like an underground worker for the Panthers. I'm not an underground anything. Just a fireman, okay? Yeah, I take that back. You just don't like peppers. Hey, not bad for a start. Now get yourself over to the tower. Is that where they do the tickling torture? Dalzell's hanging hose and he needs a hand. Fantastic. Any objections? No, nothing worth mentioning. Yeah, Bush. Are you giving you a bad time? <laughs> no, it's all in the spirit of good, clean fun. Oh, don't let it get you down. Plenty of guys dying to be in your shoes. No kidding. Well, take me, for instance. I could never pass the physical. 
Lose 20 pounds, I'll trade your jobs anytime. Ordering books for a furrier? You'd go out of your mind. Now, this is the job. You know how long I've been hanging around Engine Company 23? Only five years less than Ryerson. Terrific. And I know more about it even than he does. I've got pictures of this station when it was first built in 1910. When it held fire wagons and six teams of horses. Bush, look, I got a date with a couple of miles of fire. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, <sighs> um, I, I want to talk to you about something. Uh, um, uh, I, don't, I don't want to see you turned off by these guys. Um, I, I know they've been treating you rough. Uh, you got you to try to understand why. I know why. They test all probies. No. No, that's not why they're rough on you. Not only here, but all over the country. Uh, you see, uh, being a fireman is different from being a cop or, uh, or uh, working in a post office. See, th these guys have to live together. So you gotta understand why they feel uh, invaded. So, uh, as a good liberal, I'm asking you to uh, give them some time and let them work out their problems. Good liberal? Yeah. As a good liberal, how much time do you need to work out yours? something, Shelly. All the new firehouses have hose dryers. Why doesn't this one join the 20th century? I don't know. All right, come on, you guys, get the lead out. Let them off. Let them off. Let them... All right, hold it. Give me some slack. Back down. Let them off. All right, tie it up. Hey, Foresight! Foresight, now hear this. We all know you let that firebug go. And we know why. So you better be ready for me. I'm ready for you right now. No, 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 Proby. You still got a few hours more work to do. Hey, tell me that sub pump needs cleaning. Is that right? That's right. Now you meet me on a handball court at 6 o'clock. We'll see how ready you are. Stay with the men, you'll be better off. Step 
steps must be taken to halt the spread of fire to adjoining structures or hazards. I didn't see you there, Jim. I... What's the matter with him? What's the difference? It's all changing. Everything. Everything's changing. There was a time when it was something special to be a fireman. Something special. I mean, people used to bring you cold lemonade in the summer, hot coffee or soup in the winter, because they knew. They knew if they called on you for help that, that you were there. Fire or disaster, you were there. You were laying it on the line. Not as if the guys were doing it for a buck. They weren't making much. I come back to this house after a real work, I tell you, burns up and down my arm, up and down my neck. The hair on the back of my arms all burned off. My eyebrows singed. My lungs half filled with smoke. And I felt terrific. I felt good. But no more. No more. Now, they throw bricks at you. That's what they do. My father, he, he put the weather stripping in his whole place. His father was a fireman, too. I'm glad they're dead. I'm glad they don't have to see what's happening now. Right here in this house. Well, Spike, the probe is waiting for you at the handball court. He wants to know when you're ready.
someone out here smoking. There's a building burning down. Huh? You're being paid to be in there. Who the hell are you? I'm Mr. Warnick. I own this building. I pay heavy taxes in the city. I pay your salary. You are letting my building burn down. You old Miss Fire Trap. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? What? What are you doing? What? Who do you? I want to know why you're not in jail. Damn animal. isn't true. I just like to watch fires. No. No, you like setting fires. Just give me ten minutes, brother. Let us see the fire. When our people see the fire, there's hope. Let the wicked see our fires and know that the house they have built is evil. Listen to me, brother. Listen to me. No, don't brother me. Do you know how many people die in these fires? Come on. Welcome on suspicion of arson. Tell you, you're not going up there. Just one of you telling me what I can and can't do. Now hold 
Cover me! You're doing, Jim. Leave it alone, Spike. It's Forsythe's locker. He paid his dues. never will. Now, why don't you just let me finish? I just want to tell you. I just want to say I respect what you did to that guy in the alley and the landlord. You gave it to him good. Anything else? Yeah. How you feeling? What do you care? I don't. I'm just asking. How you feeling? I'm okay. Bye. Uh -huh. 